Welcome to my series on how to program. Episode one, what is programming? So let's take a look at the definition of the word program. Program has two meanings. It's either a series of instructions to control the operation of a computer or some other machine, or it means to write out a series of such instructions for a computer or another machine. Let's take a look at some examples of programs you might have used. Obviously, anything that you're using on a computer is a program of some sort. For example, Word or Excel, maybe Chrome or Firefox, whatever browser you're using right now to watch this video and the video player that you're using, uh, maybe a video game that you like to play, any one of the apps that you use on your phone, uh, and any website that you're using really are examples of types of programs that are out there. Now, let's take a look a little bit at uh, how a program works. So first of all, let's take a look at input. And input is simply the information or the data that's given to a computer or a computer program or a device through which information enters a computer. And here are some examples of input or input devices. You can have like a keyboard or a mouse, maybe a mouse pad, uh, a phone screen and the finger gestures and the taps that you're doing on it would be considered input maybe a picture that you've taken from a camera on a phone or a regular camera, uh, an image taken by a scanner and the audio recorded by a microphone, etc. There's lots of examples of input, but it just means data or information that you put into the computer or the computer program. Now, on the other side of this, we have the output, and this is either a place where information leaves a computer, and I'll show examples of what I mean by that in a second, or it's something that's produced by a person or a machine or a computer program in this case. So some examples of output devices or output would be a computer screen and the text and the images that you see on the computer screen. Uh, maybe the audio coming out from your sound speakers right now, that's considered output. Um, a document that would be printed on a printer, that would be considered output. And all of these um, various devices are considered output devices in computer software. Now, there's to, to really dumb it down, and this is by no means like a, an, like a very long list of everything that makes a computer work, but the three main parts that you're going to be interested in when you're programming are going to be the processor, or sometimes called CPU for central processing unit. Um, and there's going to be several kinds of memory, which is where you're going to store your information while you're your program is running to, to do operations and calculations on it. And you're going to have several input and output devices, or I.O. devices, or I.O. for short, input, output. Uh, that's what I.O. stands for. And these are the, the three main components you're really going to be worried about when you're going to be programming. Now, let's go a little bit into what a processor does. And at its core, a processor is actually a very simple thing. It's not very complicated. Um, it can do basic math operations like adding, subtracting, multiplying, division. Um, it can take instructions that are written by a human programmer and usually some sort of input, and then it precisely executes the instructions on the input, giving the result as an output. It's actually pretty simple. You put something in, you tell it what to do, and then it does it, and then it gives you some result as an output. Now. Again, this is by no means any real sort of program or anything like that, but this is just to give you an example and an idea. Uh, very simply, let's say we had a processor and it had these various instructions that we could give it. We could say add, which means it would add the two numbers uh, after, that would come after add. Um, sub, which would be subtracting the second number from the first one. Uh, multiply, multiply two numbers. Divide, dividing the first number by the second one. Uh, out would means we output the result of the last uh, uh, or, or something. And then res would mean uh, that we're referring back to the result of the last operation that was done. So either add, subtract, multiply, or divide. These are your operations. Uh, and result would mean um, that we're just looking at that last operation's result. So let's take a look at an example program. And I put the um, list, the cheat sheet here on the right side of the list of all the little instructions we can give to our processor. So let's say this program, in this program, what we're going to do is we're going to issue the following instructions. Add 1, 2, multiply result by 2, and output the result. So now, what do you think this program will output? Well, let's take a look and let's run through it, right? 
So the first line says, add the numbers one and two together. The result of that is three, right? Now the second line says, multiply the result, which is the result of the last operation. So the line above, which is three, right? That's the result of the line above the first line. Its result is three. We're gonna multiply three by two. That's gonna give us six. So the result of the second line is six. And then the third line, we're, we're gonna output the last result, which is six. That's the result of line two. So a program, as you can see, goes sort of instruction by instruction goes down and it does every instruction step by step. And it, it's very dumb, like it doesn't try to think or do anything extra for you. You have to tell it what to do. So in this case, this program will output six. Now, this is a very brief introduction into a very basic program. And I really am taking this step by step so that you get a chance to be introduced to all these new concepts and ideas. Um, and you can uh, basically do it sort of on a very um, gradient approach, you know, step by step, going little bit by little bit, right? So in our next lesson, we're going to go over uh, memory, uh, a thing called variables, which you'll have to watch the next lesson to see what that means. And then program control. How do we actually control um, which instructions get run and so forth? Also, make sure you don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends. We're going to have a full series on learning how to program from complete beginner to complete professional. And uh, hopefully you will follow this along and learn as we go.